guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Shani with DreamInspireCreate.com and today I'm taking you guys on a journey of how I made an ice cream stand for my nieces. So this is our inspiration pick. Um, my sister-in-law, this was her first time um, DIYing with me or DIYing at all. So it was a really, really fun project. Um, she had this idea to do this for her daughter's birthday. It was a drive-by ice cream um, stand. So basically what we used is we used four crates from Home Depot. We used a 1x12. We used two 1x2s. And um, we also used a 1x6. So here you can just see us using the crates as kind of our cutting um, structure because we were at her house and we were not at my house with where all my tools are. And as you guys can see, my nieces kind of pop in and out um, as we go along, um, but they weren't by the power tools. I was very proud of my sister-in-law because like I said, this was her first time using tools. She did a really awesome job. Um, at first, you know, she was a little intimidated by the Saw, but once she got the hang of it, it was all good from there. So what we did is we cut down the um, one by two to the dimension that we want because we will be using these for the size of the ice cream lemonade stand. So what we're gonna do is um, on the other side, we left one side of it uh, blank because when she's ready, she'll just transition tra transition it into a um, lemonade stand for her girls. And right now, it's just something that stays in their yard and they can play with because we did weatherproof it and then here you just see us doing the same thing so I'm gonna leave you guys here and then come back a little later did to hold all of the crates together is we actually use screws to kind of place them together and we also use a little um, wiggle and as you can see the first screw that I used was a little bit too long so I end up using a little bit of shorter screws after that putting the top on but what we did is we basically just used wood glue and then we screwed the top one by 12 down on the wood crate and then what my sister-in-law is doing now is she's placing wood glue on the one by twos because we um, placed two together sandwiched them together and then we screwed them in um, because we wanted extra support since we're going to be using the one by six to go across both of those of us putting the uh, one by six on the top but this is how it looked um, before we painted it and I did not get footage of us painting it just because we were at her house and I just wanted to respect her privacy and not you know film inside of there um, so but this is what it came out to be it was so good the kids absolutely loved it and we hadn't even painted it yet um, I'm very, very happy with it. Their birthday was a blast. I hope you guys try this with your kids. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, and excuse the balloons, okay? The balloons had popped because this was like a week after the event. So please excuse those balloons on there. This is what it looked like before.